hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is febby again um i apologize for being away for so so long but it's for the benefit of humanity so i'm back here again i hope you missed me as much as i missed you guys i'm back here again but not doing the normal things i would naturally do when i come on this channel i'm here today to bring awareness to you about covid19 disease and i'm here on the platform of of Febby Development Initiative. It's an NGO that I started by myself. And this awareness is strictly on the COVID-19 disease. Now, um, I know the first question that is going on on everyone's mind that people, most people don't know about is what is the coronavirus disease? Now, I, I don't boast to have a whole lot of knowledge, but I have read a whole lot and I've done a whole lot of research, especially for the benefit of the NGO. I've done a whole lot of research and um, as much as I can tell you that the COVID-19 disease is a virus. Of course, we all know what a virus is. A virus is a biological agent that has the ability of reproducing itself in the host cell. Now, that's a simple science. If I cannot tell you so much about what um, coronavirus is, I can tell you what it is not so that at least that way you have a an understanding you have a form of understanding of what the um, the virus is now it's different from the normal HIV that we all know because although they both function as viruses they reproduce themselves in the body the HIV virus will stay in the body longer and kill slower than the coronavirus so I think that is clear the coronavirus kills faster than HIV that is the difference between the two viruses. So don't take it for granted and say HIV is a virus and people live with it. How come coronavirus is, is this crazy? Now, another thing is um, coronavirus has the same symptoms as a normal flu, like a normal fever. If you had um, malaria, if you had um, like an exaggerated cold or something. It has the same symptoms as that, but the difference is that your normal fever, your normal flu, you can use, take prescription drugs for them, and you'll be fine in days. But in the case of coronavirus, there is no prescription yet, so we cannot say that there is this thing that you can use for coronavirus and you'll be cured. Okay, that said, I would like to go further to tell you the things that you can do to prevent yourself from contacting the virus. We all know today that um, we've reported over 20 cases in Nigeria. Do not get it twisted. These stories are real. I know some people are still living in denial and telling themselves that um, coronavirus is not our portion. Well, unfortunately, like I, I once heard, coronavirus is not your fault. The fact of his existence is not anyone's fault well don't let me particularly say anyone's fault but at least not anyone in nigeria's fault but then if we spread it the spread would then be our fault so i'll go ahead to tell you what you can do to protect yourself and if you go on um, online and you read any information from who it's repeated over and over again that the best way to protect yourself is to maintain personal hygiene and that starts from the washing of your hands washing of your hands now um i'll probably do another video on the washing of hands so that we all know how to do it right so you're not just running water through your hands thinking that you are clean so irrespective of what you've heard, I've heard a whole lot of myths about um, how to protect yourself against coronavirus. Some people say drink hot water. Now I'm going to say to you that whether you drink hot or cold water, it does not change, it does not affect your normal body temperature. Your normal body temperature is about 36 degrees or 37 degrees it does not change your normal body temperature if you drink cold water adjusts itself to your body temperature so no matter the the 
what's it called no, no matter the weather no matter the temperature whether hot or cold it cannot kill coronavirus get that another one is I've heard you drink um, garlic or you take a bath in salt, salt water. If you go online and you read extensively, you will see that salt water bath only treats stress and muscle pain or whatever. It has nothing to do with treating viruses, not to talk of the coronavirus disease. So, irrespective of what you've heard, the only thing that can save you from the coronavirus is maintaining personal hygiene wash your hands as frequently as possible it's not enough to just wash your hands and just assume that you're fine and you know um now that um, movement has been restricted there are not so many places you can you can go to i'm speaking from ikiti state and in ikiti workplaces have been closed churches closed schools closed so there are limited places you can go to so it means that you'll be staying more at home now one other thing that you can do to protect yourself at home just in case you get visitors or in case you might have walked around someone who has the virus another thing you can do to protect yourself is get a bowl of water put jig or hypo in it and use a washcloth and clean all your door handles clean um, switch boxes fan boxes fan switch boxes you want to clean all the surfaces that you regularly touch and everyone in the household would touch so you want to clean all of those surfaces you want to clean stools with it you want to clean chairs you want to clean make sure that everywhere is disinfected and if you have any other form of disinfectant Please use them. Make sure that your surroundings are clean. Make sure that you are living in a very clean um, environment. So that said, wash your hands. Make sure that you are maintaining good personal hygiene. That said, I am going to go further to say that another thing in case you fall sick. Now... The thing about you falling sick, I'm not saying that if you fall sick, if you get um, cold, if you get a cough, or if you have malaria, that it's an indication that you already have the coronavirus disease. No, it is not. But I'll say this, that it means that you have become susceptible to the virus. So, what do you do if you fall sick? Please self-isolate. Some people do not understand this, but it just means that stay at home. Stay where you do not have contact with people. Now, um, coronavirus on one side, we all know that it is not an airborne disease. It is passed from person to person, and it is from liquid droplets. The flu you have is also passed through droplets. So now the thing is, you you sneeze and a healthy person is beside you and the person gets the catches the achoo that you do and then the person gets sick what you're doing is you're multiplying the reduction of immune system in everyone around you so that is why who is advising that we all self-isolate if you feel sick now do not just self-isolate take medications treat the symptoms that you have if you have um cough use a cough syrup if you have um cold please take fruits that are high in vitamin c treat the cold inhale um whatever oil that you can put in in hot water do the hot water compress do everything that you can to relieve yourself of whatever symptoms that you have if you have malaria treat the fever on time so that your immune system is back up and you are no longer susceptible to catching the virus so that is that about self-isolation in case you fall sick okay so now that we all know that the virus is probably in someone walking around on the streets doing shopping in the same place where you are doing shopping how do you protect yourself from getting the virus from someone who's walking around you 
this is where social distancing comes into place we have heard social distancing a whole lot and so many people are taking this for granted some people are thinking my friend does not have it now you can only be sure of your own personal hygiene you cannot be sure of your neighbor's hygiene you cannot be sure of any other person around you you are only sure of yourself that is why we are preaching social distancing please this is no longer a joke i say i've said these times without number on my whatsapp status please social distancing is non-negotiable as long as you know that you cannot vouch for the person around you for your friend for your co-worker for the person that is shopping in the next shelf beside you you cannot vouch for their own personal hygiene just to be sure that you don't catch what is not yours please step away maintain a reasonable distance from whoever please i'm going to repeat that maintain a reasonable distance from whoever it does not matter if you've seen the person for the first time in 10 years or you saw the person yesterday you don't know you don't have uh you don't have a monitor on where people go to so please i, I beg you maintain a reasonable distance from people this is not the time to hug this is not the time to to fraternize this is not the time for your favorite handshakes because although the person that you're shaking hands with might not have the virus but the person might have caught the virus on the back of their hands and you're trying to do a stylish handshake by slapping the back of the hand and then the next meeting minutes you're like please let us all maintain a reasonable distance from whoever this is the time to be let me say to be an indian and all go namaste on everyone greet people from a distance it is beneficial to you if every one of us understand what is going on the pandemic of coronavirus i think we can all keep ourselves safe and stop the spread like i said earlier the existence of coronavirus is not your fault but if it spreads much more than it already has then it will be your fault so going to social gatherings going to church going to places where you have people clumped up together is not beneficial for you it's not beneficial for your household and um also i would like to say that if you're standing maybe you're standing on a queue this one just came to my mind Maybe you're standing on a queue. You might want to watch out for people who already caught the virus or people who are who are already exhibiting the symptoms of, of the virus. And you know Nigerians, the way we are, or let me just say human beings, the way we're wired. Some people don't want to go down alone. Let me put it like that. So if you're standing in a queue and you are trying as much as possible to keep your hands to yourself, the best way to do that is to keep your hands in front of you like this do not keep your hands on your back because if you do someone might sneeze behind you someone might sneeze inside a handkerchief and rub your hands with it you know people who encourage the spread of virus people who think that well it's not my fault that i have the virus why should i have to die alone so please you might want to be very cautious of places you go how you stand people you relate to if you talk to people who um speak while talking please take steps back i would not say take a step back take steps back because you do not need those droplets on your face now coronavirus can only enter your body through openings and this is this is why who says do not touch your face avoid touching your face now uh, i'll go further to say because i've seen people panic when they hear avoid touching your face and some people have um sanitizers rubbed on their hands and they cannot scratch their eyes they can't scratch their nose now i would say avoid touching your face if your hands are unwashed so if your hands are not clean do not touch your face if you've gone out and you come back and you feel the itchiness in your eye please wash your hands before you itch your eyes so it is not that you should not 
touch your face at all. The openings in your body are your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Every other part that is opened is covered. So please, you do not want anything to touch these openings so that the virus that you probably caught on your way while you're going around does not enter your body. So, um... I think that's about it anyone around you that is exhibiting symptoms of this virus please do not hesitate to call the number I'll put the number somewhere on the screen It's the NCDC number please call the number and make sure that the person is checked out and just in case the person has contacted the virus the person can be taken to a safe place to be quarantined and treated and if you feel any form because i i understand that right now to do a test is quite expensive so it's not like you can carry yourself to the hospital and go and run a test so it's quite expensive but if you feel any of the symptoms whether you're coughing you're feeling shortness of breath you're you have a fever you have the flu you have diarrhea Whatever it is that you're feeling right now, please, it is safe for you to treat those symptoms. Please treat whatever symptoms you have that you think looks like coronavirus. It might not be coronavirus, but please treat the symptoms. And that is what everyone has been doing globally because there's no drug till date. No drug has been found that cures coronavirus. And another thing I would like to chip in here, please, we've heard that um, the U.S. government is doing, is running a test on whether chloroquine can cure coronavirus. Now, hear me well. They are still in the testing stage. They are running a test to see if chloroquine can cure coronavirus. So please, do not stock up your house with chloroquine. Do not go and use chloroquine as a preventive measure from, um, from contacting the virus. Please let us all stay safe. Um, as it is, a panic attack will probably kill faster than the virus because some people don't even have the virus and they are doing a whole lot of things to harm themselves. I hope we all stay safe in this period. Please do not run into a panic. Do not panic. This is not to scare you into any form of panic. Just stay safe and maintain all forms of precautions to make sure that you don't contact the coronavirus disease. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I hope this is helpful. Like the video if it is helpful for you. Thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.